Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again. A couple of days ago, we got word that LEGO is officially going ahead and changing the packaging of collectible minifigures from plastic bags to cardboard boxes. So over here, this is what the new packaging is gonna look like. This shows series 19 um, now in a cardboard box, because I think this is around when they started testing this program. I mean, if you've been paying attention to LEGO at all in the last couple of years, you know that this was pretty much inevitable. Like, we heard rumors about this a little while ago, I believe. You know, like, video used the boxes instead of bags. And I think Super Mario, yeah, the character packs are switching to boxes um, in August instead of bags. And that's all part of LEGO's sustainability programs, which makes perfect sense. Obviously, this means we will no longer be able to feel for figures, and unfortunately, figures will not be identifiable on the outside of the box. For the first two series, you could actually like scan the barcodes and it would come up with the figure that was in the bag, and I do think LEGO needs to reintroduce that. LEGO's absolutely going to su suffer if there's absolutely no way for you to tell what you're buying. That being said, the benefits do outweigh the negatives. I've seen some people claim the opposite, like no. It sucks for us that we're going to have to, you know, buy on BrickLink and stuff like that. But I mean, this is way, way better for the environment. Like plastic is so damaging. And obviously Lego is a plastic toy that packages everything in plastic. So I think it's good that they're moving to the boxes. It, it is just sucky that we won't be able to feel for figures anymore. They have tested out a couple of different options. So this, well, this is a, a prototype of like the actual thing that they settled on. I don't love this, to be honest. Like, I find it to be very boring, just like the square printed shape and then like the little box at the back. They were exploring um, multiple other ones. <clears throat> and I think we've got some images back here. I'm on Jay's Brick blog today. I, I'm usually, I, I really like Jay's Brick blog. I just don't usually use it for news videos. Um, but here we go. So they were exploring like the paper bags that apparently we're going to start seeing in Lego sets. Um, Side note, I mean, I'm always going to rant about that, but Lego said we'd start seeing those in 2021, and they've started including pamphlets in sets this summer, saying that you'll start seeing a mix, but I still have yet to see anyone find a paper bag in a Lego set besides the, like, Ninjago City employee gift, or Ninjago Temple employee gift from 2021, so I think that's kind of stupid of them to keep promoting these sustainability efforts when we still haven't seen any of it, and there's no clear information about when they're starting. And speaking of when things are starting, the new minifigure packaging will start rolling out in 2023, so not this year. So Series 23, I guess, will be the last series in blind bags. But basically, Lego said they didn't do paper bags because, um, like, larger pieces ripped through the packaging. I understand that. You know, they have started putting stuff like entire dolphins into minifigure bags now. Um, so I get why they didn't go with the paper bags, but I think aesthetically that would have obviously looked the best. Um, option two, I think I actually like this one the best, the little minifigure head. I think that that is so perfectly Lego-like, and it's just really cute. I really wish Lego had gone with this, because I find this to be a lot more unique than just a regular cardboard box. This one, I think, is a little bit too large. Like, I feel like there's way too much going on here. Um, but yeah, like, the minifigure head thing, when I saw this, I was like, oh, I really hope that's the one they picked, and it's not. And I think that that's kind of lame, because... Why go with just a regular, like, square box with rounded edges when you could just, like, flatten it a little bit more and have it be, you know, like, an iconic Lego piece? Um, and then, of course, this is Disney Series 2 on here. So I think these are more images of the prototypes. I'm really glad that they released all of these because I think it's really cool. I also like how this one bulges like a minifigure bag did, and it's, like, glossier. Um, so to me, I think that this would have been, like, the perfect change. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't, I don't love the one that they settled on. Then there, they had these ones, like, um, these are more like the Friends Cube sets, like this one, like with the, or not like the Friends Cube sets, but I feel like Lego's done something like this, like with the kind of beveled edges over here. Um, I don't love any of these. I feel like they're all too big, um, like for one minifigure. That's the other bad thing about cardboard packaging. Like, yes, it's more sustainable, but I feel like there's going to be a lot more cardboard going into each minifigure box than there was plastic going into each minifigure packet. So it's better for the environment, but they are using like more of the material. And so that's why I don't like these ones. They just seem way too big for a single minifigure. Um, like you could fit like a whole poly bag in here. So I don't really think you need that. And the same goes for these. Um, like this one is a lot like the minifigure packs that you get in Lego stores, just without like the plastic part. And of course it's much smaller. 
Um, but yeah, this also I think would have been way too big, which is why I think just the head would have been perfect. This is pretty much just exactly the video box, which was kind of boring in my opinion. And the other two are basically the same thing as well. And then finally they have these and I believe, okay, no. So I, th I think the friends, uh, friendship boxes, I think they do come in this package, but then inside them, like the blind bag animals are packed in like kind of pillow shaped boxes like this. I also don't like the pillow shaped ones. I think that these would look really awkward on a shelf and they wouldn't like stack together well, um, which I do think is another important part of, you know, being able to line these up on a shelf. So, um, so yeah, overall, I don't like any, I don't, I don't like many of these. Some of them look better than others. I don't like any of those. Um, I don't like any of these. I really think that the minifigure head was the one Lego should have gone with because it's, it's just so much more interesting than the flat regular box that they chose. Like I just, the more I look at it, the more I just wonder why they didn't do it because it just looks so perfect. Um, but yeah, other than that, nothing here is going to change. There's still going to be 12 minifigures per series. There's still going to be um, 36 per box. So I guess those boxes are also going to get a lot bigger because they have to fit, you know, like all of these cardboard boxes now instead of just bags, which are a lot easier to put together. Um, I actually don't mind this one either. Again, this is just kind of weird to me because it doesn't really look like it's not like it doesn't look like a shape and it doesn't look like Lego either. But yeah. This one is absolutely the winner. I would really, really love to hear from a designer why they didn't pick that. But anyway, that's a pretty in-depth analysis of my thoughts on the minifigure box change. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Again, I think it's justified and long overdue. I'm glad they're doing it. Uh, but I just really wish that in the future, they said they could change this in the future, but I just really wish that we could like scan the barcode like you used to be able to do in 2010 and find out what figure is in there because I don't really want to buy everything on BrickLink going forwards. So that's it for today. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and check out my website, goldenninja3000.com, and I'll see you guys in more videos soon. Bye for now.